And a developing story we're watching for you tonight, this stalemate between Chicago Public Schools and the Teachers Union. Pre-kindergarten and special ed teachers were supposed to return to buildings today, but some refused. Yeah, they want CPS to meet their safety concerns, but an agreement may not be close. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live outside CPS headquarters with more from the district's leader and the response from the Teachers Union. Jenna. Well, a new letter from the CPS CEO says she believes an agreement with the teachers union is possible, but teachers we spoke to are standing firm in their belief it's not safe to go back to school. In flurries and in protest, Brentano Math and Science Academy teachers took their remote lessons outdoors. The same day, CPS ordered them back in the classroom. My uh, preschool staff and I agree that this plan is just not something that's going to work for our students. This plan still feels half-baked. It still feels incomplete. But that is the sad truth of the matter. Alderman Daniel Laspada is one of 32 who wrote a letter to CPS CEO Janice Jackson and Mayor Lori Lightfoot backing the teacher safety concerns. Tonight, Jackson responded saying a deal with the teachers union could be within reach. Despite what you have heard, we believe there is broad agreement with CTU on all of their in-school safety concerns, including, but not limited to, ventilation, PPE, contact tracing, COVID testing, and school and district level safety committees. While an agreement is not legally required to reopen schools, we believe one is within reach and we will continue to work toward one as quickly as possible. Jackson says data show schools are safe when proper mitigations are followed. But the Chicago Teachers Union says some educators who did return to their schools Monday reported problems with cleanliness, safety protocols and ventilation, saying some rooms appeared not to have been cleaned since last March. We're being told that we're going to have to do a hand wash routine in schools that in March didn't have hot running water or access to soap. The plan is to give students in grades K through 8 an in-person option by February 1st. Right now, just 40 percent of those students have signed on. The teachers union says for its members to get back in the classrooms, schools have to improve testing of ventilation systems and hire more nurses and social workers. Pre-K and special education teachers are supposed to welcome students back to school next Monday. We don't know yet what happens next Monday. It, we're really taking it day by day, but all I know is that we're going to stick together. And we just received an updated response from the Chicago Teachers Union, making it sound like they are not close to an agreement. Part of that statement says, quote, it is unconscionable that the mayor and CPS would try to push us into a strike. We're live at CPS headquarters tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.